Today, we're going to show you how to measure and continuously monitor the vibration from power tools. Simply take your vibration meter, attach it securely to the handle as close to the middle knuckle of your hand as you can get, obviously without impeding your operation of the tool. The vibration meter is ready to go. So I'm going to start the drilling process, start the meter, stop the meter, then stop the drilling process to get a full vibration magnitude from the power tool. Simply place the tool to wait onto your workstation, pull the trigger, and then we're going to press start. So, now we've taken a measurement, we can look at our vibration data and we can see down here the vector sum is 9.169. So we're going to round that up to 9.2 meters per second squared and we're going to put that information into our tool timer. So, on the tool timer, really, really simple. Press the white button for a couple of seconds. The tool timer will start up. It's ready to program. You'll notice that the first digit is flashing, the zero. But we don't want the zeros, we want the nine. So this one here, one, two. And then to move to the next digit, we just press the red. And we're gonna take that one up to five. So now we're set, we have our vibration magnitude in there. Points are at zero, so as soon as we start using the tool, they will start going up. We can then pair that with our heavy watch. Simple and easy. Press and hold for a couple of seconds. Press and hold for a couple of seconds. They are now paired together, so we're ready to take the measurements. So again, as soon as we start drilling, it's going to start accumulating points. So as we can see now, the tool timer has come to one point. It has taken us nearly 29 seconds to get to that figure. That is also paired to the watch and the information has been put into your watch. The watch will take the accumulation for as many habits as you have, as you pair each time you use a new tool. So on the second tool, again, you would pair the watch to the heavy and the vibration data will already be in the heavy. We're going to measure the vibration magnitude of the impact wrench this time. So attach the accelerometer to the handle as close to the middle knuckle as we can get it without interfering with the operation of the, of the instrument. The accelerometer goes down to our vibration meter that's all ready to go. And all we're simply going to do is start the tool, start the meter, stop the meter, then stop the tool. So we get a full measurement. So you can see here the vibration magnitude is 11.13. So we're going to actually set that up a little bit to 11.2 just to be on the safe side. Simply take the heavy, press the white button to turn it on. Once it's turned on, we will see the first figure flash. They're going to be our tens. So we're going to put it up to one, and we're going to go to one, and then we're going to go across to two. So 11.2 meters per second squared. Press the red button, that's now into the heavy. So as soon as we start using the tool, now, the next thing we're going to do is connect the heavy watch 
to the tool timer. And you will see they are now paired together, so they're ready for use. We'll remove the accelerometer and now as soon as we start using the tool, the points will start accumulating. So we can see here, we've measured after 19 seconds, we have one point on the tool timer, which connects to your watch. You'll see mine already has some points in there, because that was paired with the first tool timer, and now the second tool timer, and that is the, the amount of points that we've actually got so far today. And as you keep using different tools throughout the day, they have the heavy on them, they're going to keep accumulating points until we reach 100 points which is our lower action value at that time we need to look at our vibration data so the simple monitoring of your vibration magnitude and your tool usage and your vibration data first of all pulsar vb2 find that at pulsarinstruments.com while you're there you'll also be able to find information on the havis and the Havi watch 